Hi, this is Jordan with Premier Food Trucks. We're going to show you a walk around of Auntie Anne's Houston. We're going to head start here on the driver's side. We have two outlets on the outside of the truck. Now this is so you can hook up your refrigeration inside and hook them up into regular extension cords so you can keep them cool overnight. Our next stop right here is our propane tank. When you first get your truck, you're going to make sure this tank gets purged and then filled. To open this door, it does have a lock right here that just turns. You can also lock it in place with a silver key on your key ring, and that way nobody can get in inside your propane tank. Right here, we do have the battery for the generator. If anything ever happens where the generator's not starting, you can actually put a uh, charge box onto the battery. This is the battery for the generator only. Once again, same exact door with twist lock here with the silver key right there to lock it into place. The generator is a diesel generator, so it is going to be running on a 30 gallon auxiliary diesel tank. You can see it's clearly marked here as diesel, so we wanna make sure we keep diesel in that tank. If you fill this tank with gas, please do not start your generator. Please call uh, Premier Food Trucks or call your local mechanic that services your vehicle. Over here we do have our gas fill. Now this is for the truck itself, same concept. If you put diesel inside the gas tank, please do not start the truck. Call Premier Food Trucks or please call your local mechanic. Directly above that is our generator battery switch. This way you can't run your battery dead by leaving things on like exterior lights. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this into the on position. Our red light pops on, that is the orange key. Now, when you get done with your service for the day, you're gonna go ahead and turn that off to make sure the generator battery stays charged for you so you can use it the next day. However, do not shut the generator off by turning that battery switch off. We go ahead and open up our generator compartment here. It is a Powertech 20,000 watt diesel generator. Our access panel for this generator is located right here inside this door. Our camera guy is going to go ahead and show you inside that panel. <clears throat> if you ever have any issues with your generator, I'm going to call you, you're going to call me and I'm going to ask you to open this panel up and show me inside that panel itself so I can see exactly what's going on with the generator. Okay. On the back of the truck, we do have this water door. This is where you're going to fill your fresh water. Once again, it is the silver key on your keychain. Go ahead and open that up. It is going to be fitted right here with your food safe hose. Make sure you fill that up right there. When it is full, you'll go ahead and get water start coming back out through the nozzle and through the vent here. When you're finished with that, we're gonna go ahead and close that up and lock it. On the passenger side of this truck, you're gonna ask me what this little tube is right here. This tube is to empty out your fresh water tanks or for cleaning. It has a valve that is located underneath the truck. You're gonna push that towards the middle of the truck to open that valve. Our next thing is going to be our serving shelves. Go ahead and show you real quick how they work. You're going to lift up with both hands. They fall right into place for you. As soon as you're done with your service for each day, you can grab either side of the shelf, lift straight up, and fold it down. Shelves are heavy enough. The wind does not get behind it. You'll be able to operate them without latching them down and having them in this position. Right after the serving shelves, we do our, have our waste water drain right here. The wastewater drains a little different valve than the valve at the back for the fresh water. This is what you call a blade X valve. The action on this is going to be to pull it towards the back of the truck and the waste water is going to come out. I'm going to show you that one more time. Back of the truck and wastewater comes out. Our silver keys are also going to be very important when it comes to opening our windows. Our windows have two locks on them for our display case inside. Go ahead and get those open for you. And then go ahead and lift it right up. Inside here, we're gonna go ahead and walk into the back door. We're gonna locate our PowerTech uh, remote start switch. We're gonna hold that button down for about three seconds. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to go ahead and engage our generator. Now with the PowerTech 20,000 watt generator, going to hear a couple of different speeds. The first speed it is warming up. After that, it's going to go ahead and engage right there. Now we keep an eye on our fuel gauge here. This is going to be for the fuel tank for the generator only. Obviously, full means full, E means empty. And now we've got our generator ready and warmed up. We can move our way over here to our breaker pan. 
This breaker panel does have a main on off breaker. We're gonna go ahead and switch that to on. When we are turning on all our breakers, we wanna go in one row and we wanna be three second intervals between each breaker. So we're gonna go ahead and get that AC unit on. As you can see, what I'm doing here is letting the generator catch up to itself and supply the proper power. This is going to help with the longevity of the generator and make sure you don't shut it off prematurely. Now we got our lights on, we go ahead and flick that switch. At the end of the day, it's gonna go through the same process. We wanna go ahead and open our breaker box back up and we wanna go ahead and switch our breakers off. This can be done at any speed. Just go ahead and make sure always that our breakers are turned off at the end of every single day. And to shut it off, we're just gonna to go to this power tech button and hold that button down. The generator will shut off for you. And that is your daily operations of the truck. Thank you so much.